Echoes of the Attic, A Haunting Encounter I can still feel the icy grip of fear clutching at my heart every time I think about what happened in that old house. It's been years, but the memories are etched into my mind like scars, refusing to fade with time. I suppose I should share my story, if only to warn others of the dangers lurking in the shadows. It all began innocently enough when my friends and I decided to spend a weekend at my family's ancestral home. The house, a sprawling Victorian mansion nestled deep in the countryside, had been in my family for generations. Despite its grandeur, it had fallen into disrepair over the years, with most of its rooms left unoccupied and its once beautiful gardens now overrun with weeds. As we arrived at the house, a sense of unease washed over me, but I brushed it off as nothing more than nerves. After all, it had been years since I last visited, and the memories of my childhood adventures in its dusty corridors were tinged with nostalgia. That first night, we gathered in the grand parlor, laughing and joking as we reminisced about old times. But as the hour grew late and the fire began to die down, a chill settled over the room, sending shivers down our spines. One by one, my friends retired to their rooms, leaving me alone in the darkness. I tried to shake off the feeling of dread that had settled over me, but it clung to me like a second skin. Unable to sleep, I decided to explore the house, hoping to distract myself from my growing unease. As I wandered through the dimly lit corridors, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Every creak of the floorboards sent my heart racing, and every shadow seemed to twist and contort in the flickering light of my candle. Finally, I found myself standing before a narrow staircase leading up to the attic. The air grew colder with each step I climbed, and a sense of foreboding washed over me like a tidal wave. At the top of the stairs, I found myself in a large, dusty room filled with forgotten treasures and mementos of a bygone era. But as I searched through the clutter, my eyes were drawn to a single object, a mirror tucked away in the corner of the room. As I approached the mirror, a sense of dread washed over me, and I hesitated, my hand hovering inches from its surface. But something compelled me to look, to gaze into its depths and confront whatever lay beyond. What I saw in that mirror haunts me to this day, a twisted, grotesque reflection of myself, with hollow eyes and a mouth twisted into a mocking grin. But it was not my own reflection that filled me with terror, it was the figure lurking in the shadows behind me, a dark, shapeless mass that seemed to pulse and writhe with a life of its own. I stumbled back in horror, tripping over a pile of forgotten trinkets and falling to the floor with a crash. As I lay there, gasping for breath, I felt the icy touch of the shadow looming over me, its presence suffocating and oppressive. With a desperate cry, I scrambled to my feet and fled from the attic, the echoes of my footsteps reverberating through the empty halls. But no matter how fast I ran, I could feel the shadow's cold breath on the back of my neck, its whispered promises of torment and despair echoing in my mind. I don't remember how I made it out of that house alive, only that I fled into the night, never looking back. And though years have passed since that fateful night, I can still feel the shadow's presence lurking in the darkness, waiting patiently for its next victim.